Okay, real quick, I'm going to show you how you can uh, link or trunk, bond, whatever you want to say, ports together to make them faster and redundant, okay? So we're going to take three interfaces that are virtual, they're not really real, but we're going to pretend like they're real, and they're not being used right now. We're actually going to create a 3 gig trunk between PFSense and an HP Procurve 1724, okay? So as you can see in VMware Fusion, we have five network adapters connected to our PFSense install. This is the WAN, this is the LAN, and these are the three that are not being used right now, okay? So like I said, we're gonna take these three that are unused, and we are going to uh, use LACP and LAG to create a trunk, a three gig trunk, because these are all one gigabit interfaces on their own. And so three times one is three. So we'll have a three gigabit interface when this is all said and done, okay? So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna notice that uh, on interfaces here, we've only got WAN and we've got the LAN. That's because those are the only ones that we've defined. So we need to go to interfaces and click on assignments. Okay, so then we go to lags, L-A-G-G-S, and click on add. And as you can see, the parent interfaces that are available to create this lag are listed right here. We've got EM2, 3, and 4. Okay, so basically these three adapters right here, these interfaces are this one, this one, and this one. So we will select all three. On a Mac, that is click, uh, click on the first one and then do command to click on the other two and it'll actually just keep highlighting everything that you click. Um, and by the way, uh, you don't have to use all of the interfaces that are available for this lag. You could just do um, two of them if you wanted and they don't have to be the first two. You could do this one and this one if that's what you wanted to do. So you could create a two gig trunk um, on this lag and leave this one left over for you know whatever else or you may know that you're going to add more interfaces later and so you want to do you know two now and two later whatever you want to do totally up to you um, but I'm going to go ahead and use all three interfaces because three gigs is cool right all right so all three interfaces selected here the lag protocol is going to be LACP and the description we will call uh, three gig trunk, okay? Save. So on the lag interfaces menu, we've got lag zero, uh, zero because it's the first one. And then if we continue to create more lags with different uh, parent interfaces, they will just uh, continue to climb in number. So you'd have lag zero, lag one, lag two, lag three, however many you want to configure. Okay, and then here's our description. And then the members are uh, EM2, EM3, EM4. So network adapter three, network adapter four, and network adapter five in our VMware Fusion setup. Um, one more important thing to remember is um, yes, in this setup, we would be actually connecting uh, network adapter three to a port um, on the HP 1700 and we would be connecting you know uh, network adapter 4 and number 5 in the same way but we don't want to connect PFSense interfaces to the switch via LACP yet physically because we haven't configured it yet and if you go ahead and plug the network cables in now before you get the switch configured and PFSense configured you could uh, cause a loop back and take down the network and that would just be bad for everyone. Okay, so don't plug anything in as far as network cables go uh, with your with your lag until you get everything set up and you're ready to actually try it out. Very important to remember. Okay, so um, here's the HP 1700, the Procurve 1724, and as you can see, I'm just using the web interface here uh, LACP setup and you simply on a 1700 you check the box that says LACP enabled on port you know 20, uh, 20, 21 and 22 okay okay one more thing that I almost forgot is uh, it's back to the switch configuration 
Um, if you're going to have VLANs running on your uh, LACP lag, you still have to uh, make sure that the switch is aware of that VLAN uh, that you want to run on your LACP. And you actually have to assign that VLAN to the, the LACP that's running on the switch. So uh, VLAN 50, uh, for example, you would come into the switch, uh, modify VLAN 50, and actually um, assign it to LACP 1 or whatever the LACP number happened to be. And once you do that and apply, uh, that will take care of it and you'll be good to go after that. You can choose whatever ports you want to use, whatever is available, um, but... Uh, just pick something that's not already in use, okay? So you would check here, here, and here. If that's the ports that you want to use. Click Apply, and you have enabled LACP on those three ports on the 1700. So we can go back into PFSense, and we can see uh, here's our lag. Now we have to do some things to actually define this lag as an interface that PFSense can use. Um, and so you'll notice that the available network ports um, is no longer EM2, EM3, EM4. It's been consolidated to just one lag zero and one MAC address. So we'll click add and there's OPT1. We'll enable the interface and the description can be again, three gig trunk, just so we know. And we can assign a static IP address for this interface and we will do 10.100.0.1 slash 24 and save. Apply the changes and at this point we would actually be uh, ready uh, to go ahead and connect the three network cables between port 20, 21, 22, and these three uh, network interfaces on the PFSense server. It would create a three gig trunk and uh, we could pass untagged traffic um, to those ports and uh, they would actually be able to access this interface right here. Let's go to dashboard. They would be able to access 10.100.0.1 on the untagged network. Okay. But what if you wanted to do more than just an untagged interface and you wanted your three gig trunk to uh, have uh, VLAN traffic running on it as well? Well, you go to interface, go to assignments and go to VLANs and we don't have any VLANs yet. So let's go ahead and create those. The parent interface that we want to create this VLAN on is going to be lag zero because that's what we want uh, the, the VLAN to run on. We want the three gig interface to handle this traffic. So the parent interface will be lag zero. The VLAN tag is 50 and the description is VLAN 50. And we can come and add another one, 60, VLAN 60. And add another one, lag zero, VLAN 70. So we've got 50, 60, and 70. The parent interface for all three of these VLANs is lag zero. And the parent interface for lag zero is actually three interfaces. That's EM2, EM3, and EM4. So you see how it sort of builds um, you know, once you consolidate the three separate interfaces into one, then you're using the one interface to create your um, uh, your your interface for your lag uh, or for your VLANs to uh, to use. Okay. So now, if we go to dashboard, we're still going to have um, WAN and LAN, and we've got the three gig trunk on 10.100.0.1. And if we go to interfaces, assign then we should have the three VLANs that we just created, uh, 50, 60, and 70, we should have those available as network ports. And if we click here, we see we have, there they are right there. So I'll go ahead and create an interface for VLAN 50, which is uh, running on the lag zero. Click, uh, click add, and why not? We'll go ahead and just add interfaces for all three VLANs. And then we can come here and enable the interface call it whatever we want, uh, VLAN 
50. We can give it an IP address, 10.0.50.1, slash 24, save, and apply the changes, then go back to interfaces, and we'll do the same thing here. VLAN 60, give it a static IP address of 10.0.60.1 slash 24, save, apply. And uh, we'll leave the other one unconfigured. You, you get the point. Um, however many VLANs you have, you just click on the interface and you know assign an IP address if that's what you want to do. Um, so once you've assigned the um, the interface a name and you've enabled the interface and you've given it an IP address, they'll actually show up here um, as interfaces that you can do things with. Like um, here it is VLAN 50. Um, so if you want to run a DHCP server on VLAN 50, then you would uh, click VLAN 50 here, enable DHCP server on VLAN 50, and the range would be 10.0.50.1 to, uh, let's just say 10.0.50.1. And leave all of this default. And now we have a VLAN 50 with a DHCP server on it. So if we were to go into the 1700 and uh, configure ports that were um, part of VLAN 50, then anything that was on VLAN 50 would actually see this DHCP server and get an IP address from the 3 gig trunk on VLAN 50. Okay? So uh, let's go here and uh, do the same thing. Actually, let's do the same thing for VLAN 60, uh, DHCP server, VLAN 60, enable, uh, 10.0.60.10.0.60.100. Why not? I'm just defining the DHCP range there. Um, that would be the range that the DHCP server would actually hand out IP addresses. So you can configure that to you know, as many or as few IP addresses as you want. Some people like to keep that um, pretty small so that the DHCP server is only handing out, you know, maybe 10 addresses. And some people will use the whole network for DHCP. They don't want anything static, um, which, you know, hey, whatever, that's totally up to you. Um, let's see. So now if we go to dashboard, you'll see that we've got the WAN, the LAN, the three gig trunk, uh, which would handle all untagged traffic on the three gig trunk. And then we've got VLAN 50 and VLAN 60, which are also running on that three gig trunk. So um, you can, uh, you know, put as many VLANs on that trunk as you want. It's not that since it's only three ports and a three gig trunk that we can only have three interfaces running on that. Uh, you know, theoretically, you know, you can put as many VLANs as you want on that one trunk. And uh, the really cool thing is, you know, with LACP, if one of the links goes down, like let's say we've got the three network cables connecting the 1700 and PFSense, if someone cuts a cable or an interface goes bad for whatever reason, um, the trunk will still continue to operate just at the lesser capacity. So it'll go from three gig down to two gig, but there shouldn't be any uh, disruption in service, and uh, you could actually reassign another port um, on the 1700 switch as LACP, and you could plug the cable into that port and connect it, and it would be back up to three gigs, uh, as long as the cable wasn't cut or the problem was with, with PFSense itself. So uh, very uh, very easy way to get beyond the one gig uh, limit uh, without having to spend an absolute fortune because a lot of this stuff um, if you have the uh, If you have the network interfaces in place, it's just it's just software. It's just configuration um, The trick is getting the server to have you know this many network interfaces that that is hardware you will have to um, 
you will have to buy network interfaces if your server doesn't have them. Okay, so that is how you can create LACP lags, and um, I, I highly recommend it.